Hello folks, I'm looking for your help uh, on the workability of this cognitive behavioral numbering system that I've been working on. Uh, those of you familiar with mathematics will re recognize the Cartesian uh, graphing system uh, that's named after Descartes. And if you don't remember him, he's the guy who very famously said, I think, therefore I am. So fittingly, uh, and of course this is the matrix diagram, uh, but this is mental, and of course this is think, and this is the, this is where the I think, therefore I am statement would be on his numbering system. Uh, but I've taken it and put it onto the matrix so we can play with it uh, and, and come up with something, hopefully. And uh, so, for example, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, a couple of other quick things. As I already said, this is sensing, and this is mental. So sensing, literally, I mean, up here on the front side of this would be like uh, light, uh, photons of light, or waves of light hitting the front side of the retina, or a sound wave hitting the front side of the uh, eardrum tympanic membrane. And then on the other side, somewhere in here, begins the process of what's called perception. Uh, and perception is where learn stuff, and this stuff even from down here is coming up this line, and the two are interacting uh, for perception. But that's a whole big chapter and <laughs> lots of stuff. But anyway, that that's where about where that's occurring, somewhere in there. This is the, and, and so I've named this the cognitive line. Uh, so starts here and ends up with cognitions down here, but see why. And I've used why because people are used to calling the ordinate, and that's the fancy name for this line. Uh, y, and over here I have BX. This is the behavior line uh, called X because people are really familiar with X. That's the abscissa, by the way. Uh, and so with that, we could do a 5-5. Five, five. And so we go right there. And so this is B X equal 5. And C Y equal 5. And so what would be a toward, oh, what other thing? Toward other humans, an R in there, humans is what I'm talking about over here. So this is toward other humans, uh, and this is away from inside stuff, uh, and it's, it's, it's really for the self. So inside stuff for the self. We'll get to more of that later. So. BX5, CY5, so what I think of is I'm a father, I have three children, so if I saw, was next to my child as he stepped, he or she stepped off the curb and they were about to get hit by a car and just, just the instant I perceived that, my arm would be shooting out to protect them. You know, behavior toward the protection of others and based entirely on perception. I really wouldn't put much thought into that. Uh, then over here, we could have a, where is it, get the grid right, right there. Uh, so that would be a BX, I'm always putting the X first, it's not a very good B. BX negative 5, uh, CY, remember this is a Y, so that's a 5 sign there. Uh, and so what would that be? Well, that's as I said, this is toward other humans, and this is so the same bus, but I don't have my kids with me, so the bus is about to hit me. And so I jump back ah, to save myself, which is a very good thing, because it keeps me alive for another day. Uh, but it was not about others, it was about saving myself. So that's the way. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. We're going to look at it differently later. There's nothing about this cut in stone. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm working on the workability of it. Down here we would have, there's that point right there. 
Uh, so now we do our x line first, our behavior line. So bx equals, boy, I'm having trouble making b's. bx equals uh, negative 5. And we have cy equals negative 5. Uh, and on this, well, this is, you know, totally thinking down here. So I'll think just the opposite of this. And so I'm jumping out of the way of an imaginary bus. So imaginary bus. I mean, I'm not talking, you know, I guess it's not reality, or, but it's, it's just total mental uh, stuff. And, but it's so real to me, I jump back. Ah! away from the imaginary bus. So that's that's over there. And then of course over here we'd have the five uh, here we'll go our two fives. So we'll do our B X, that's the behavioral, that's this one. So that's five. And then we have the cognitive, which is Y here, equals negative five. Well, that would be a toward others behavior based almost totally on mental stuff. Uh, gee, what did I say? This was uh, so. I mean, there's nothing really ca happening here. Uh, it's just totally imagined. So I do something uh, just uh, uh, altruistic for others. I guess others aren't even around. I just do something. Uh, altruism for the sake of altruism. Uh, so if somebody can come up with a good example, a good behavioral example of that, I would really appreciate it. And just comments about this in general uh, as we work and come up with this cognitive behavioral numbering system. And we'll see where we go. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, Oh, the comments. Uh, this will be up on the blog. Uh, so uh, you can give me comments like saying, hey, this is a good behavior for a totally mental uh, behavior toward others. Uh, or any of these, or anything in between, or any comments you want to make can be made on the blog. This will be up on YouTube, so you can uh, make the comment on YouTube. I read those. Or you can just send me an email on the website, www.drkevinpolk.com. Uh, sort of like any of those. That's the three main ones I use. is the blog, my blog, uh, my YouTube channel, and drkevinpolk.com. And, uh, and send in your comments. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.